everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. It's Whip Wednesday, so I wanted to hop on here and say hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> What's everybody up to today? Share in the comments what you're working on. I would love to see if you're on Facebook. Share a photo of what you're working on today. Um, if you're on YouTube, let me know a comment of what you're making on this Whip Wednesday. How was your weekend? How was the Super Bowl for everybody? Did your favorite team win? <laughs> I hope so and um, I'm not like 100% super into football um, but I just hope both teams had fun. <laughs> there was like a meme going around <laughs> over the internet that was like I just hope both teams have fun. <laughs> Sad that somebody has to lose but it is what it is. Uh, it was a great show and Nate and I watched it at home together and we had a fabulous dinner together so it was wonderful um but I wanted to talk about a few things today so I hope you had a great weekend but um moving into current events I just checked my Instagram and oh my gosh we are almost to 25,000 followers on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram yet please follow Yarn Utopia by Nadia Fwad the link is in the description of this video to follow me on all my socials actually so you should follow me on all platforms but Instagram we are going to hit 25,000 followers and then we are going to have a giveaway so I'm so excited for it so make sure that you follow me we are almost to 25k once we hit 25k we are going to have a yarn giveaway some merch all exciting stuff so I can't wait for that and soon coming up is Valentine's Day <laughs> I hope you are all enjoying my punny little valentines. <laughs> they are so much fun. I um, posted already the two stitch grande scarf that was uh, you're wrapped up in my love. <laughs> that was cute. And then I posted um, the second one was the alpine stitch mittens. These are new patterns on yarnutopia.com. I'll link the new ones that I've posted already. So far there's three new ones. The gr two stitch grande scarf, the alpine stitch mittens, uh, which was a lot of fun to do the alpine stitch. I've never done that before in any of my projects so that was a lot of fun and somebody had commented that I should make a scarf to match which maybe in the future an alpine stitch scarf maybe uh and then today i posted the sweetheart baby hat and oh my gosh my niece is the cutest in that hat i added a fur palm on top and a cute little heart on it and uh that one was a lot of fun to make as well with all the cute pink colors she is just so adorable she's already a year old i cannot believe it she is growing so fast and she's wonderful so she's a great model <laughs> for my hats <laughs> for girls so that was awesome uh soon um let's see tomorrow and thursday i'm gonna be reposted or i'm sorry tomorrow and tomorrow is already thursday thursday and friday <laughs> my days are getting mixed up thursday and friday i will be posting um a repost of a different puns because I'm actually going to be out of town which I'll get to in just a minute uh, but then on Saturday a new pattern is going to come out sorry I just spit because I got so excited <laughs> but a new pattern is going to come out and it is for an amigurumi pattern for the next punny valentine so I can't wait to show you that and then the next uh, few I have a puppet coming out and then I have a lovey for Nasser. And then I have um, another one that I don't want to tell you yet. <laughs> so that's going to be on the 14th. So there are four more brand new patterns coming out in the next uh, week. So I'm excited about that. Uh, video tutorials and all. We are back in action. 2020 is going great and I hope it's going wonderfully for you as well. Uh, but like I said, I was going to be out of town tomorrow and Friday because tomorrow, Thursday, I'm going to my parents' house. Me and Nasser are packing up and we're going to Grammy and Grampy's house because we're going to film a couple of videos. And then on Friday, we are going to Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. There is going to be a charity event uh, by Five Stones of Dodge County. 
I'll link them in the description of this video. You should check out their group on Facebook. Check out the charity event. It is Have a Heart for Charity and uh, it's for Valentine's Day so there's going to be a lot of makers at this craft fair and partial proceeds to every sale that we make at this event will be going to the charity of Five Stones and I hope that you've read about what Five Stones is and what they do and all the progress they have made for human trafficking. It's so wonderful that they are making a difference in so many people's lives. So I am excited to be part of this uh, event and we are going to uh, sell some of my finished crocheted pieces and then the proceeds will go to um, this uh, charity. So I'm really excited about that and it's just a fun event to uh, see a lot of people and a lot of my family members actually <laughs> They live in Beaver Dam, so I get to see some of my family members too and catch up with them. And Nasser is gonna come with, and he will probably lure a lot of people to my booth. <laughs> so hopefully, they buy more things. <laughs> So I'm excited for it. It's gonna be great and my parents are coming with me So they'll be helping me with this uh, craft fair if you've ever sold at a craft fair You know it gets really busy and a little overwhelming when you have 10 or 15 people at your booth and you're making sales And it's wonderful and exciting, but um, it's nice to have the help So I'm really grateful that my parents can come with me and help me at this charity event too um, and then one more thing I wanted to talk to you about. So, well, first check out the link to Five Stones and read about it. Like their group on Facebook or their page on Facebook and uh, keep in touch with all of all that information that they share great information and they're doing so much for the community. So a big thank you to Five Stones. But anyway, let me continue. Um, our group on Facebook, Yarn Utopia World, has so many new members and you guys are so wonderful. Thank you so much for joining my new group on Facebook. It's so awesome and seeing all the talent on there, I am getting so much inspiration daily. Like I'll be scrolling <laughs> on there and just seeing all the amazing projects you are all sharing with me. I just cannot believe it. And you are encouraging each other and you are giving each other inspiration and that is what counts. That's what's most important. I'm just so glad you all are on there and uh, joined my group Yarn Utopia World on Facebook. Make sure to check the link in the description of this video if you haven't already joined the group and then you have to answer three questions. So if you haven't already if you haven't answered the three questions, I can't accept you into the group. So you have to answer the three questions and then I'll be able to uh, accept you into the group. So if you joined and you're not accepted yet, that's probably why. So you can go to the group page and answer the three questions and then you're in. And then once you're in, there's a top post that is um, pasted to the top, like pinned to the top, and it's in the announcements section, and it's all of our rules. We do have rules, strict rules for this group because we want to keep it a nice and clean place for all the fun creativity and uh, no drama. <laughs> so we want to keep it 100% um, crochet related and I'm just really excited to have this group and share it with all of you and we have the same love interest in crochet so it's a really awesome platform. So that is going well. It's called Yarn Utopia World on Facebook so make sure you join me there. And uh, one more thing, <laughs> I'm so excited today. I'm like got so much to tell you. <laughs> And uh, my bestie Sarah is coming today so we're gonna hang out today and she's gonna help me with a few more things I have just to wrap up for the charity event this Friday and uh, I have to um, just pack up all my things and get ready for it. So she's coming today and she's gonna see Nasser. We're gonna hang out and catch up. I haven't seen her since New Year's so it's um, gonna be great to catch up with her. And then um, before I go, I am going to be having an event in the group, so make sure that you join Yarn Utopia World because we're going to create an event where everybody can join in. It's all virtual, you know, where you have to go or anything. It's just at the comfort of your own home, but we are going to be doing a project together. So I'm really excited, and I'll have a few projects to share, but it's, um, I I think it's on the weekend of the 22nd of February, but don't quote me on that. I will give more details soon. If you join the group, all the information will be in there. Um, but I am trying, 
failing and trying. Um, but I'll retry and I'll try again and I won't give up until I finish a planned pooling project. <laughs> Marley Bird has such a great tutorial online on YouTube for planned pooling. These are the skeins of yarn I have. I am failing miserably, but I'm determined <laughs> I have this much <laughs> I have this much going for me. It's like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but I am um, trying and trying and trying to get it to work with the color changes and sh I'm working with uh, Marley Bird's videos to try to learn how to do this and she's very helpful and very knowledgeable on plant pooling but um, it's a kind of a frustration frustrating process right now for me but I will get it and I will try to share a pattern with everybody using I don't know these colors or if you have suggestions on specific like Red Heart Super Saver I have Super Saver yarn and I have some striped yarn um, I have some variegated yarn. So if you know like what skeins of yarn or if you know these two skeins will definitely work with plant pooling, please leave me a comment and let me know because I feel like I'm not getting it. <laughs> I'm not understanding it. I did start with this one as well. <laughs> this is gray, yellow, and white. This yarn is called Lemon Drop. Um, and I tried, but again, totally failing. So I'm just trying to make a swatch right now just to see if I can figure it out. And then once I figure it out, I'm going to be making a project and I want to share it with you. Um, so that's coming up this month. So I have to figure this out now. Uh, but if I don't, I mean, I do have backup yarn that uh, I can do a solid color and that's fine too. But I think it'd be fun to do a project in plan pooling. It gives the nice argyle design and it's really, really pretty. So let me know if you uh, have done plan pooling. Please share your project. I would love to get in for inspiration. Tell me your tips and tricks, where you learned how to do it, um, because I've done only one project with plan pooling a couple of years ago, and I totally forgot how to do it now. So I'm relearning with Marley Bird's planned pooling video tutorials on YouTube. So I'm going to be uh, trying to figure that out today. <laughs> and hopefully by next week, I'll be able to share a project. <laughs> but uh, other than that, that's all I wanted to share with everybody today. So to recap, we have almost 25,000 followers on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram at Yarn Utopia by Nadia Fouad. Uh, let me know if you had a great weekend at the Super Bowl, if you watched the Super Bowl, if you were not interested, if you were crocheting, uh, check out all of the Valentine's Day puns. And uh, I posted three so far, uh, but I'll be posting four brand new ones coming up every other day. I'm going to be out of town tomorrow and Friday to go to this charity event with my parents for the five stones of Dodge County in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin at Harvest Church. If you are in the area, if you are in Wisconsin, check it out. Make sure to be there and, uh, you know, have a heart for charity and, uh, yeah, shop some great makers uh, at this craft fair and uh, get something cute for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Also, my bestie is coming today. I can't wait. And make sure to join my group on Facebook, Yarn Utopia World. All the links are in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far in the video. I love catching up with all of you. I hope you have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, and I will catch up with you next Wednesday. Happy hooking!